I'm Michelle Hussey, and we're here at the Hilton in Chicago. This is Leslie Bailey. Leslie, can you tell us a little bit about what we've got going on here this evening? Yes, we are here for the Chicago Bears fan convention. And there's some meet and greets going on as well as uh, some players and the coach was here and it's been a great event. Now there's a little bit something special about what's going on tonight. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, the 85 Super Bowl reunion party was here as well as the convention. So we've had a lot of great players, old and new. Did you feel the fun and excitement from all the fans tonight? Oh, absolutely. It's been a great time. Everybody's had a wonderful time. Fans, the players, everybody's enjoyed themselves. You know what? Let's go meet some of those Bear greats. Let's go. We're here with Glenn Klazowski. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. How did you enjoy today's event? Uh, it was nice. I got here at 7, so I just got here in time to make it and then ran out there. Everybody yelled, and then we're done. What do you miss most about the game? Uh, my teammates, probably. You know, I, I, I can't do anything anymore but eat. So, as you can tell, that's what I do mostly now. But uh, I miss my teammates, just, you know, the, the good times that we had hanging out. And I, I miss the, uh, the off season too, because now that I have to work. <laughs> what was your most memorable moment, would you think, during your football season? You know, again, I, I think it was just winning. I, I was in the mid-'80s when we won a lot. So um, we ended up a little short of going to the Super Bowl all the years that I played, but we were usually in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, just winning. Now, if you had to put those pads on all over again, do you think you could hang with everybody that's out there? No, no. Unless they strap ding-dongs on the back of the guys, because then I could run them down and tackle them, no question. Hello, and we are here with Bobby Douglas, Bears legend. Well, not a legend, but well, I was one of Well, I would say so, yes. Well, I Tell did, us. I did make their little legends thing last year, but I'm not a legend, but I think that love playing legend. for the Bears. Tell us about your Bears experience. Well, we had a, it was a it was a tough time when I was here. We didn't have a, a lot of great football teams, but it was a lot of fun. It, uh, you play for the best fans in, in, in the country. And Chicago you, really does have as good of football fans as there are. Bobby, tell us, what is the difference from football from when you played to today? You know what? Uh, there are differences. Uh, you know, the game's a little more wide open. They don't run the football like they did when I played. But at the same time, uh, it's very similar because uh, – it, it's still football. Uh, they haven't changed that many of the rules. Uh, they've changed a few rules to make the passing game a little more prevalent than it, than it was when I played. But at the same time, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's still the same basic game. There's, there's no changes in the basic rules like they did in basketball with the three-point play and all those kind of things. So football is, 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 I think it's one of the things that makes football the greatest sport uh, in this country and uh, the fact that it never has changed. Bobby, if you were able to put the pads on today, what would that mean to you? Well, I would, it would mean uh, it being $6 million a year. <laughs> but other than that, uh, it would be, I'm, uh, I'm a little old to put the pads on, but it would be a lot of fun. And what do you miss uh, we, the most? I, playing. You, you miss playing. You miss the camaraderie, camaraderie and, and the playing. And, you, know, you miss uh, the competition probably more than anything else. Most athletes at, at this level uh, are very competitive. So that's what you miss. We're here with Rick Caceres, former Bears player. Rick, how did you enjoy the, tonight's event? Well, Michelle, uh, it's always uh, special to come back and, uh, to Chicago and the, the Chicago people, and to be with my former teammates. It's a win-win thing that I uh, enjoy very much. What do you miss most about the game? Well, obviously, uh, playing. Like, uh, there's a thing about the guys like me, uh, thinking from, not only from our era, we had a saying, and I can tell so today, uh, we think we could still play, but we have a saying that when your mind makes a contract that your body can't fill, you're over the hill, my man, you're over the hill. What would you say is your most memorable moment in football? Oh, easily. Uh, my rookie year in 1955, I was put in a game against the Baltimore Colts, uh, the third, fourth game of the year, and I went 81 yards for a touchdown, and from then on, I became the starting fullback for the Chicago Bears. 
Now, if you had to put those football pads on and do it all over again, how do you think you would hold up in today's game? thing is, I uh, would make a deal with the devil tomorrow. Give me one year at my very best. And uh, thing is, when uh, I was at my very best, and with my teammates, uh, who made it possible for me to excel, and uh, I could, I could die happily. Well, thank you so much. It was such an honor to meet you. Thank you very much for giving us an interview. Thank you, Michelle. And the thing is that uh, you're, uh, you're the best looking uh, sports person that uh, I've seen. Uh. Oh, that's quite a compliment. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Here we are with Reby Sorry, How are you doing this evening? Oh, it's a lovely evening. I, I got a chance to see some of my teammates I haven't seen in 20 years. Wonderful. What was the highlight of the night? Um, I guess the, the grouping, the gathering, the uh, networking, uh, telling stories, and uh, just the existence of living, you know, because there, there's some ball players now that are not around. Right, so exactly. Yes, we just are. we look. We just lost one of our teammates yes. uh, yesterday, Todd Bell. So, yes, and that was a sad. sad thing. Yes, he's in our prayers. Let's put pads on you. What would your feelings be about that suiting up? How would you feel? I mean, right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> well, I I, t I tell you what. I could probably just get dressed and and look good and and take a couple of pictures, but that would be it. We are here with Sean Gale. Sean, how did you enjoy tonight's event? Well, it's always exciting to uh, to sit down with the fans and listen to the, them uh, relive the stories of 85 and see my teammates, so it's a good time for us. Now, can you believe it's been about 20 years? Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> I know most people say it went by pretty quickly, but for the players, you know, we got bumps and bruises to show for these 20 years. But, uh, yeah, 20 years, what can you say? Now, what do you miss most about the game? I think most of the guys would concur that uh, the toughest part to uh, to let go of is the camaraderie. You know, you become a family. You spend so much time with the guys, especially when you're successful. So the guys from '85, particularly, we uh, we keep in touch, and some of the guys live so far away we rarely get to see them. So it's good good for us to get together on an occasion like this. Now, if you can put those football pads back on again, how do you think you'd hold up in today's game? Um, you know. Me, I don't think I'd do too badly, but some of the other guys, I question. I, I, I don't think they could, uh, you know, the guys are much bigger now and, and stronger and faster, so I think it'd be more difficult for a lot of the guys. Well, anybody, any kids out there that want to be professional football players, you know, stay in school. I'll give you the scoop. Everybody wants to give Lovey Smith some uh, some advice. The only thing I told him, and it, and it shocked him, it's about looking good and performing that way. I told him get out of those white work, get out of these black work boot looking football shoes, and go back to the white shoes we won the Super Bowl in. We we're all wearing white shoes. It gives you a little spring to your step when you got pretty feet. And he wants them to play fast. That helps. Can you believe it's been 20 years? Ooh, and I don't want to go back to my high school reunion and see how old everybody is either. <laughs> what is the most thing? What do you miss the most about football? You know, this is great. This 20-year reunion thing we're going to do this year because being back with the guys, everybody will tell you, especially a championship team, the best thing you can evolve into is feeling like everybody's your family because you're going to fight your ass off for your family, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we all feel of each other like we're family. Well, this whole year's now, it's going to be like a family reunion. Man, didn't that sound great? It sure did. What is one of your most memorable Bears moments? Personally, it was winning the Super Bowl. I mean, come on. That, that one Super Bowl, you know, in folklore, in the pantheon of football, we're going to be remembered because, you know, we were one of the few teams to cut a Super Bowl shuffle. You know, that's what people remember. We weren't just great football players. We were entertainers. That's right. You know, this is what I learned in wrestling. you got to be good on the mic, too. <laughs> you got to sell it. Now, if you had to put those football pads back on, how do you think oh, you'd hold oh. up in today's game? You know, I, I quit wrestling, and, I, and I'd be walking through an airport, and somebody would come up, why aren't you still wrestling? And I'm limping. <laughs> 
Okay, come. I was smoking a cigarette in front of my mother the other day, and she said, what are you doing smoking? I said, Mother, that athletic career is long over. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for the interview. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thanks for hanging thank around. You. Thanks no for coming problem. out. The Bears no Convention, problem. they're going to be back in those white shoes next year. I promise you. And here we are with the 85 Super Bowl champs. How are you guys doing tonight? Tell us about the evening. Well, you know, it's going well. I saw Wooly, and, and it didn't start to go south. But, but it, now it's coming back up. It's a long night, long night, long night. But it's a good night, though. It's yeah. always good to be with your buddies. Good to be with family. Yeah, I see my Real roommate play. down there, TK. And right. Go ahead, uh, TK. Yeah, it's, hey, it's, it's been like 20 years since I've been back here, so it's great to be back. Great to see all my old teammates here. Great to see Willie. Oh, yeah. I hadn't seen him. Oh, yeah. Just been seeing him on TV doing yeah, the movies. <laughs> This, this is the movie star right here. Oh, man, come on. No, it's, it's going well. I'm glad to be back in Chicago, though. I, I, a funny thing happened to me. I went outside to, to catch a taxi to go downtown. Walked around the corner, and the wind hit me. I forgot how cold it was out here sometimes. <laughs> See, I just came from 80-degree weather yesterday in, in L.A. Well, I know what I'm saying. So it was like, okay, I'm, I'm back in Chicago. <laughs> And then to serve my friends, it's amazing because, you know, these guys, you know, you, you go back, you take it for granted while you're there because you're there, you're working hard. But, you know, when you go back and you look at it in retrospect, it's really an amazing feeling to be able to work with these guys and to be able to play with them and know that they had your back and you had theirs. And we, we did something that's, you know, very few people are able to do, win a Super Bowl, and that's something that we can cherish forever. So were you the best Super Bowl team? Well, I think so. I mean, we were one of the best teams that, I think when the offense go in the halftime and they minus yardage, I guess you you could be one of the teams that that you know well, let's just play say, well. It's, it's, to add on to that, it's, it's tough to say you're the the best Super Bowl, but I can guarantee you we were the best defense that ever played in the Super Bowl. So if you put the pads on today, how do you think you'd hold up with the Bears today? I don't know, Willie. Can you can, can you go? Can, I can go deep, man. Don't worry about that. I can get deep. Don't worry about that. Tyrone, can you still get to the quarterback? Still get there, baby. <laughs> well, I guess I'm we'll not going to leave Mama myself boy. out. Mama boy, if y'all can work, I'm going to work. I got one in me. That's all. <laughs> one, one what? <laughs> one rush. <laughs> you got to have more than one rush. That's it. That's all you need. One quarter? <laughs> one, one sack. <laughs> one third. We in trouble now. <laughs> Last question. What yeah. is your favorite Bears memory? Favorite Ooh, Bears memory? Oh. Probably. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 you know, probably the, the championship game, you know, when, you know, we would expect the snow to take place and then Fallon came in at the end of the game and just watching the guys and, every, you know, and the crowd just all, you know, happy about what was taking place. So I, I, I would say the championship game is something that I remember, you know, from my life. Otis. I would say leading up the NFC championship game, but of course the Super Bowl game. I mean, the way we just kept on the road, we did away with New York beat up on L.A. and just demolished the um, the Patriots. So I would say the Super Bowl. I mean, it's no question in my mind that this, the Super Bowl, in the third quarter, knowing that you had the game won and the feeling that you, you had is um, unmatched by anything else and knowing that billions of people are watching you, knowing that you've accomplished something that your goal was earlier that year to do that. And arguably we were probably the, the best team in, that ever played the game from a publicity standpoint and from the imagination of the, of the country. I mean, everybody came from around the world to see us, from Russia, from Germany, just to see us. So it was really, we captured the imagination of the entire world. So that was great. I think after we lost to the Dolphins and we came back, uh, we got back in town that morning about 9 o'clock, came back in and made the Super Bowl shuffle and taking that song and, and with all the uh, everything being on us to see whether or not we were going to make it to the Super Bowl and then going out and winning the Super Bowl, I think that was my greatest moment.